everyone, I hope you're doing well. I am continuing my Christmas Vlogmas holiday video series, and today I'm going to be participating in the Winterlicious holiday tag, and this was actually started by MacBarbie07. I absolutely love her channel. I'll link it below, and I wanted to go ahead and get started with the questions. I thought this was a fun holiday tag that'll show you some of my favorite holiday products, things that I'm enjoying, and things that I'm loving for this holiday season. The first one is my favorite winter nail polish, and I actually selected a few. This is Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue, and I really love the color of this. I think this would be so pretty if, you know, you were to take the time and maybe use a, a striping brush and maybe do some snowflakes or some polka dots on it, just like a, a really bright blue sky snowy day. I really love the look of that. And the next one is actually two polishes. One I feel like is a close enough dupe to the other that I can mention both at the same time. And it is going to be Essie's Very Hard and Revlon's Forbidden. And this is the Top Speed Nail Enamel. Both of these are actually going to be, hopefully you can see the color well enough, but both of these are along the lines of the kind of Oxblood Bordeaux Burgundy Wine Shade. I really think these are beautiful for the holidays. I also like Maybelline Color Show's Tenacious Teal. It looks like this. As you can see, it's pretty much the perfect Christmas green. If you want to take this and paint all of your nails and maybe do a gold glitter accent nail or a gold bling nail, or if you want to do like green red, green red for something really fun and festive for the holidays, this is the perfect green for that. The next is going to be my favorite winter lip products. I'm going to show you Two of my favorite uh, kind of like chapsticks and then a uh, lipstick, which is actually really, really affordable too, and I'm really excited to find that. But the first chapstick is going to be my Burt's Bees Pomegranate. You guys probably know I really enjoy this. It is just a really kind of, you can't you really can't even see it. It's just a light, sort of a pinkish color. Um, the smell is kind of unusual, but the way it makes your lips feel is really good. And actually, the more you smell this, the more you really kind of get used to the smell and start to like it. And then my other favorite lip balm is gonna be the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. And this is the plain one. I don't really like the colored one. I just really like this one. It has SPF in it. And I feel like it coats my lips without making them feel greasy or thick or sticky or anything like that. So I really enjoy this product. I use it in the mornings before I put on my lipstick. It helps, you know, get rid of the chapped lips. And I use it at night before I go to bed to help fight chapped lips as well. So I've really been enjoying that. Now, my gem product, which is like my absolute probably favorite product that I found recently out of this, pretty much this whole thing, is going to be my lipstick. And this is the NYC City Duet 2-in-1 Lip Color. It's fairly new and it's by NYC and the shade is Penthouse Plums. And what's unique about this product is that you've kind of got a light color on one side and the most gorgeous color plum on the other. Um, I just can't even begin to tell you, you know how berry lips are in right now. Burgundy, Oxblood, anything like that is really big right now. And if you don't really want to invest a lot of money, like eight to $10 and maybe a lipstick, this product is going to cost you just right around $2. And while you may not necessarily use this side, which you still could as a center highlight for this shade right here, this is the absolute perfect shade of just plum berry I have ever seen. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it is so moisturizing. The length of wear is pretty good. I mean, it's not bad. If you carry it with you, you won't have any problems throughout the day. But that is just the definition of the perfect berry ox blood lip right now. And you can see, especially with my skin tone, if you're fair skin tone, medium skin tone, dark, I swear anybody could wear this lipstick and just be so happy with it. It is so worth it. And for under $2, this is definitely a steal. I'll show you the backside if you would like to see it. It's kind of like this color right here. It's just like a kind of a mauve color, but it's nowhere near the star of the show, which is the plum color on the back of the lipstick. I do hope NYC will consider releasing that plum color separately. My most worn winter clothing piece has got to be stripes. If it has stripes, I'm actually gonna be wearing it. And I have a striped shirt on now. Um, this is the one I wore the other day. You can see I have these really pretty stripes in this. Just anything with stripes is just, it's, it's like screaming my name. My whole closet is full of stripes. So if it has stripes, it's coming home with me. My most worn winter accessory, I'm actually wearing it. I love this. It is an infinity scarf. It's one of those round scarves that just goes, you pull it over. This one doesn't twist. It's a one-time only loop, but I really love it because it's sort of borderline like the ugly Christmas sweater and just the pretty Christmassy knit. I feel like I can wear it with any jacket, any coat. It doesn't matter what you're wearing. You can just pull it off. It's very festive and holiday-like. I actually bought this at 
Um, I believe it was Marshall, so I'm not 100% sure if they still have it, but I will list who makes it down below. My favorite winter candle scent is actually going to be the same as my fall. I really don't transition to Christmas scents. I don't like artificial cinnamon smells. I don't like artificial peppermint smells. I really don't care for any of those. So I really kind of stick with my fall candles year round. I buy enough of these that I can burn these all year. It's very rare that I find a Christmas smell that I will actually burn throughout my entire house that doesn't kind of just get on my nerves you know what I mean so um, I do like autumn day this is just a really fresh it really is year-round it's a very menthol-y sort of a kind of like an earthy just a fresh outdoorsy smell and um, unfortunately it was a fall release but I think they should be bringing this back again my favorite winter beverage is up next you can see I buy it in bulk I don't like coffee I am a hot chocolate person so I buy my Swiss Miss hot chocolate in bulk and I really especially like the ones with the extra marshmallows or I'll buy a separate bag of marshmallows just so I can like juice it up and add more marshmallows and I also like the salted caramel hot chocolate at Starbucks I absolutely love that up next is gonna be my all-time favorite Christmas and holiday movies and I have a couple to show you and the other one I don't have on hand Charlie and the uh, Chocolate Factory Willy Wonka oh my gosh I am obsessed with this movie and I am especially obsessed with it because it has Johnny Depp and you guys know I'm nuts about teeth Johnny Depp's teeth in this movie are to die for his dad in the movie is a dentist and his teeth are just gorgeous so I pretty much just watch it so I can just go oh at his teeth but it is a great great holiday movie my next favorite is gonna be the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation this is just the funniest movie ever every time I start to even feel like a remote hint of Christmas spirit I whip this movie out it is absolutely perfect it cracks me up and if you haven't seen it I highly suggest you see this one and another favorite is going to be one that's seen quite often in my house, and it is Frosty the Snowman. And this is a classic, along with the Charlie Brown Christmas, which I really like. And then the other one I cannot find the box for is A Christmas Story. It's the one about the kid that gets his eye shot out with a BB gun or shot, you know, He's supposed to get his eye shot with a BB gun or something or another. Anyways, I love that story. The father in that story cracks me up. Like, he blurts out the most ridiculous phrases that you can't even understand what he's saying. Like, he'll look at a box and it says fragile and he'll be like, fragile, and think it says like something Italian, like fragile, and it's fragile. My favorite part in the movie is when he gets a flat tire or a blowout and they're driving down the road and all you hear him say is, dad, got me blah. And <laughs> swear to God it sounds just like that it is ridiculous but you will laugh so hard if you see that movie so I highly recommend those next up is going to be my favorite holiday songs and I have two that I really enjoy and one of them is wham it's last Christmas I gave you my heart and it's like but the very next day you gave it away um, I really love that I've always been a huge fan of George Michael I love wham I love classics like that so I really like that one and then one that I've been listening to more recently is run run Rudolph by Chuck Berry I really like that that gets me going and a Christmas the spirit it makes me want to rush and do holiday shopping and I just really really like that that's run run reindeer Santa's gonna make it to town and then the last one I need to find out who sings it if you guys know please list it below because I'm trying to find out and it's called please celebrate me home I think that's what it's called but it's like please celebrate me home um, give me uh, something please celebrate me home give me a time that I'll always remember I don't even know the words. I'm so bad. I need to Google it. But if you know it, please list it below so that way I can check it out. And I really like that one. A couple of other ones for maybe some, you know, just different picks for decorating the tree and wrapping presents. I highly recommend Ray Conniff. And this is the We Wish You a Merry Christmas. They do some really fun songs. Their voices are fantastic. They're really festive. And I just really like the sound of their music. And they have one in there, The 12 Days of Christmas, that absolutely cracks me up. It is hilarious. And uh, they talk about like stringing up the lights and they get really like knotted up or something. And he's like, why are they blinking? I mean, it's so funny. So I highly recommend this one. And then one that I find that because I am a little bit older, um, sometimes I just like to set, you know, set, just make the house a little more romantic for Christmas. And then maybe I'll dim the lights and do some candles and uh, just have the tree on. And it's really glowy and really romantic. And I really like the Kenny G, the greatest holiday uh, classics. And anything by Kenny G where it's just that really slow saxophone and he's playing really slow Christmas songs. I just think that's, it's just really cozy and um, I just think it's just a really neat mood and it's a little bit more, you know, older and more mature, but I really love his music and I think if you give it a chance, you would really like it too. My favorite holiday treat is actually not with me. I wish I could show you one because if I had it, I would be eating it right now. And I'm going to like commission my mother for one of the upcoming vlogs. You're going to meet her because she is going to be making these and they're called haystacks. 
Oh my gosh, like I could eat a mountain of haystacks. They're like these chow mein noodles and she mixes them with butterscotch and with chocolate and it's just the right combination and they're crunchy and sweet and a little bit salty at the same time, but then they have the butterscotch flavor. They are phenomenal, they are amazing. Okay, what is my favorite Christmas decoration this year? Well, I have two and somebody's gonna show you one of the two and I will show you mine. Okay, as you guys know, I really, really love Elle's videos. Elle Fowler, All That Glitter is 21. She happened to have this little animal along the way called a booga. Booga is just the cutest little, like a, it's like a, Elephant mouse is what she calls it. Well, she found this at Target, and I happened to be in Target the other day, and I was looking around, and there was one Booga left on the tree. So I bought it, and I, of course, I had to name it Booga because she has a Booga, I have to have a Booga, and I just wanted a Booga anyways, because it's just cute. Lauren wants to show you really quickly her favorite holiday ornaments, and why don't you go ahead and show them? This is my favorite horse. Um, you, if you think of a good name, you can just tell us because we don't have a name for him yet. That is so sweet. Will you guys help Lauren name her new horse? We picked these up together at Target. We bought Booga and the horse at the same time. So take a good look and you guys please help Lauren and put your, put your possible name for the horsey down below. The next question is what is at the top of your Christmas list? Well, I have to tell you, um, first of all, it's just gonna be that each and every person has a wonderful holiday season. I know not everybody celebrates Christmas and I totally respect that. Whatever you celebrate, if you celebrate or if you don't celebrate, I just hope as the holiday seasons pass through, you are happy, you're healthy, you're with your loved ones or people that are special to you. And if not, just let me share my Christmas spirit with you and um, just have a wonderful holiday season so that's what I want I just want everybody to have a wonderful holiday season now if you want to know what I want <laughs> I've got a few things you guys know my hair a hair dryer whatever kick the bucket so I really would like to have a new hair dryer and then second I would really like to have some new hot rollers what are your plans for the holiday season well, we're very lucky this year. Usually we alternate. We have family in Jersey and then we have family here. Well, our family in Jersey is actually coming here for the holidays. It's their year to come here. So we're gonna be home for the holidays, which is awesome. So it's just gonna be a lot of family, a lot of fun, um, just a lot of good memories and things like that. So that is the end of the Winterlicious tag. I really enjoyed doing this tag. If you guys are interested in doing the Winterlicious tag, I will post all of the questions down below. I tag you guys. Hopefully this has given you some great ideas. Maybe this has given you some products to check out or some things to look for and hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next video.